the game today. Um, first of all, how, how were you on that first half? Uh, Coach said you got a little bit banged up on that first play, and was it something that kept you out? Was it kind of up up in the air at halftime whether you could go? Uh, on that on that run, you know, uh, I, I got hit a little bit, uh, tweaked my knee a little bit, but it wasn't anything to like keep me out. You know, it, it just got a little stiff on me, so uh, they, they let me run around on the sideline a little bit just to get loose. Uh, I was ready to go the whole time, but they just wanted me to loosen up and, and get ready. And then what did the coaches say to you in the second half when they decided to go to you and, and kind of what was your mindset taking over? Uh, they just asked me, like, like, are you good to go? Just asked me, am I good to go? And if I'm ready to, to run around and stuff, I said, yeah. And that's when they put me in and they trusted me. And then how did it feel to be able to provide that second half spark and, and, and just get this win today with this team? It feels good, you know, just uh, – for my teammates to be able to trust me, the coaches be able to trust me to go out there and get the victory. You know, it feels good because it lets you know that, that guys believe in you. So I really appreciate that. Um, Sorry, man. Where do you feel like this team goes from here now that you guys have gotten bowl eligible and how big is that going to be for this next month? Well, we just got to focus on keeping our energy right, you know, because uh, a lot of things can come into play. Like, we just lose our head sometimes, but just staying focused and, and maintaining the right energy, I think we'll be good. And then my final question, um, just what was your reaction to Coach Mullen, you know, kind of moving on from the program, and, and how do you kind of assess where things go from here? Um, you know, I was a little surprised when it happened, you know, because uh, that's my head, that was my head coach. Uh, he recruited me. You know, I really loved that guy. But uh, at the end of the day, you got to realize that it's a business. So they had to make a business decision, and we had to live with that. Uh, uh, Anthony, given what's the, your performance today, given uh, Emory's struggles uh, moving forward, uh, do you feel like you should uh, get a chance to be the starter in the bowl game? And I'm just wondering how you, how you, how you feel about that. And I, and, I don't know. Uh, that's for the coaches to evaluate and, and decide. You know, I'm just here to just play whenever my name, my number is called. So whenever my opportunity is there, I'm going to try to take advantage of it. We have Antonio uh, Valentino. Can, can, can I get a follow-up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, when you when you initially got hurt, did you feel like you could have gone back in in the first half, or did you just leave it up to the medical personnel and just let them decide for you? Uh, I, I could have went, but uh, it's the smartest thing just to listen to what they say because they know more about my about like injuries and stuff than I do. So just trusting them and letting them decide what I was going to do and just follow up with them. We'll go to Mark and then Matt Baker. Unfortunately, you're getting a reputation for for being a guy who gets banged up a lot. Is that you know how far from the truth is that? And can you take us through how you how you heard a knee dancing in the hotel room? Or in the hotel? Uh, with football, you're going to take a lot of hits, you know? So, of course, you're going to get banged up. But uh, with the knee injury, uh, I tore my meniscus in high school. I never got surgery or anything on it. So, just dancing, I just tweaked it more, you know? And it's just been lingering. On. Is that the same knee you're talking about yeah. tonight? Okay. So, do you have to, are you going to have to have surgery on that at some point? No, I don't think so. Just get treatment, ice, just rest, recover, just simple stuff like that. Thank you. Matt Baker? What did over here? Oh, what did today's performance kind of do for your confidence moving forward? Just because you have been so banked up this year. Oh uh, no, it just felt good just being out there again, being able to play football. You know, uh, just dealing with injuries is never fun because you just have to watch from the sideline. But just being able to be out there and be able to play and just help the team, it feels good. What What are kind of some of the biggest ways that you think that you've grown throughout this season? Uh, just being a, a team player. You know, uh, I'm always rooting for my guys, but. Like just being there, having the right energy, being a leader, just stuff like that. Because even though I, I can help produce on the field, I got to be, be on the sideline, be in the meetings, be at practice, just helping, uh, promoting guys like that. Back to Zach and then Edgar. Uh, Anthony, how, how frustrating has this season been for you because of all the injuries and things that have come up where you haven't been able to go as much as you would have liked? I mean, uh, it, it does get frustrating at times, you know, because you want to be out there playing. You don't want to be on the sideline dealing with injuries, especially like when you're producing. You know, yeah. you don't want to be on the sideline the whole time. Uh, but 
you know, the way I think about it, things happen for a reason. So yeah. maybe that was God telling me I need to sit down and, and just watch and become better at leading, maybe. So everything happens for a reason, so it, it is what it is. And then obviously, future still to be determined here with the coaching staff and everything like that. What's your approach going to be to that? Are you just kind of in wait and see mode? Do you want to see what the new staff, how they come in before you kind of decide what to do? Just grind and get better, you know. Uh, whoever they bring in, we're just going to grind and get better. That's my mindset. Edgar? With your uh, roots here, mom, little brother, all that, I mean, you're committed to staying at the University of Florida, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a Gator. Is that saying you're going to be back next season? I'm a Gator. Okay. And, and the other thing is, how have you been so successful with the with this NIL stuff? I mean, you got a better car than any of us in the room right now. <laughs> uh, I guess you could say it's my position, being a quarterback, but it's also God, you know. Just being able to get opportunities like that and taking advantage of them. I'm just blessed enough to have those things. Uh, even with the NIL uh, laws and stuff that were passed, you know, I'm just, just blessed to be able to have the opportunity to get those things. How much effort have you put into that yourself, or is that just surrounding yourself with the right people, or have you like made a point to like figure out how it worked and everything so you could capitalize? Uh, in the beginning, you know, uh, I thought it was a distraction because that was pretty much like almost my main focus. You know, school football and that that was like my main focus, and it was distracting me from other things. And like, of course, you want to get the right people around you to help generate money, but I just. I, I got the right people. I let them uh, get the deals, and I just focus on football because football is what's bringing the deals. Andrew? Uh, over here, I, I know um, it maybe wasn't the season that you all hoped for when it began, but what was the focus this week, and how important was a win like this to get to bowl eligibility to finish on a high note? Uh, our focus was just to win, you know. Uh, just dealing with everything that happened uh, this past week. You know, even dealing with the things that happened this season, everything happened for a reason. But my focus was to win, you know, because uh, losing a head coach that could probably have a big toll on the team. So we just decided to come to come together and try to win. Uh, Anthony, how do you? I know how close you and Emory are. How do you hurt for him when you see him struggle like he did in the first half and then make that pass in the second? I know you got to come in and do your job, but how do you hurt for your guy? You know, you, you feel for him because we, we deal with that stuff in practice, you know. So I try to come to him and tell him, like, don't worry about it. That's not the first interception you're going to throw. That's not the last one you're going to throw. So just keep going, keep playing. And, like, of course, you, you don't want anybody to play bad, but you just got to stay there and keep rooting for God. Did you feel the energy pick up around you when you came in there in the second half? Um, I'm not sure, you know, it felt good you know, being out there. Uh, everybody was rallying, running, blocking, catching, you know, just, I guess those guys, they picked up the energy because they seen like, what we were doing. But I can't really tell you if the energy changed or not, but yeah. And last one, uh, at halftime, you guys left so much on the field in the first half. At halftime, did the coaches have to say anything to you or, or did you guys kind of just say it to yourself, we got to get out there and do better? Pretty much a little bit of both, you know. Uh, Sometimes you have to be a self-critic. You know, you can't always just think everything's all roses and gold. So you have to be a self-critic sometimes and, and let like each other know, like, we have to do better than that. We have to block better. But the coaches also came in and made some adjustments, and I think we just played better overall at the halftime.